if I have a nice tax refund that I'm looking to put to work, or I've got some of that big mountain of cash that we're always hearing about the retail investors having, where should I put it now? Should I ride what's working, or should I look to a sort of uh, a spice some of the uh, of the unloved stocks, those those high growth tech stocks, into my portfolio if I don't already have them? Uh, hi, Tyler. Thanks for having me. I think uh, the answer to many questions like that, I always end up coming up with some of each. But for me, my portfolio is more weighted in the what was unloved, what's somewhat still unloved, I guess. Um, and that super high growth stuff, I just, you know, it's, it's, it's come down a lot. But when you step back just a little bit and look at a, over a couple of months, it hasn't come down that much. And so... This rate fear, obviously we talked a lot about the rate fear and the higher risk premium, meaning multiples come down. But the other thing going on, some of those loved stocks that are not loved right now, like a DocuSign or like a Zoom, they also were great pandemic stocks. And so even though the business may still be great, Zoom may still have fantastic business and growth and DocuSign as well. Even though that may be the case, just the sentiment is so strongly outflow from that and into what really wasn't working before, as the names you called, restaurants and, and airlines and retail. And so I have a, a broad mix, but really not very many or almost no high, super high flyers. Because I've just, you know, at heart, mm -hmm. I'm a valuation girl and I never could get there way up at the top. I can't, I can't really get there right now. But I do have some fang, like a Google, like a Facebook, that I think of value tech, that I think will do better as we reopen. So leisure and travel will come back. That's good for Google. They'll do a lot of that advertising. So I'm long those. Today, a little painful. You know, Ali, speaking of unloved stocks, I've been tracking the performance of the ARK Fund, like so many have been. Now $2.1 billion in redemptions over the last eight trading days. We have Kathy Wood joining Closing Bell in the next hour. Is there something she could say that would convince you that now is the time to take advantage of the pullback that we've seen in a lot of these higher growth names and start to build a position, position in these technology names? Look, I think part of the issue is that these technology names, apart from the two narratives that we're dealing with now, which is our interest rates moving because of inflation or because of anticipated global growth, and B, um, the pandemic versus the reopening, right? They have been the recipient of a lot of this. They are going to continue to be the recipient of, you know, a great deal of momentum, but I think that's the issue, right? It's the momentum of these stocks. And so there was this combination of retail and institutional investment that ARC, for example, was a, a great beneficiary of. Remember, there's still an immense, an immense amount of money on the sidelines and some is going to go in. And when you look at the numbers of inflows just in the last couple of weeks, it's been absolutely intense. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.